Ave Maria Prisma, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Just a quick remark on the last line of the gospel. Uh, it says, watch ye therefore, because you know not the day nor the hour. A warning from our Lord. But I can say that when you're helping people die, of course that's one of the main tasks of a priest, our whole task is about preparing people for a good death. We wear black to remind people of death and a judgment. When preparing people for die, it's really sad. I, I'd want to say amazing, but it isn't amazing because of the whirlwind, but it's really sad how many people are surprised that they're going to die because they haven't really thought about that much. And there they find themselves dying and they have these regrets. So think about it now and prepare now and then you won't have regrets then. So get your affairs in order at this time in your life and then whenever that day comes, you'll be good to go. St. Martina. St. Martina is one of the patronesses of Rome, uh, a, a virgin. Her father was a consul, it tells us, a very important man in the Roman Empire. And uh, so from a wealthy family, she gave away her wealth uh, to the poor. She was delayed, I guess, brought in in persecution in the 260s and uh, refused to offer incense to the idols. So th there was a whole series of things. They raked her with, uh, with, with iron hooks. They rolled her on, on pot shards. Uh, I know they were, they, were, they, were, they were slashing her with swords and whatnot. And in fact, during some of this, there was like milk coming out of her wounds. And people would see like a vision of her all of a sudden seated on a throne with angels. And then she'd be back. And it actually converted a number of her torturers who then, of course, were martyred for that. So it, it made a huge impression on them. They exposed her to a lion. The lion did nothing about it at all. They tried to burn her in flames, and that didn't do anything. So finally, she was beheaded. And uh, so it's St. Martina, the virgin martyr, one of the patronesses of Rome. That's just a little bit on that saint. Pray to her today for fidelity, that you really embrace the faith in its wholeness. And pray to her also for preparation for a good death.